just went out. Welcome back to my channel. I have finally been able to film my June favorites. Oh, you guys know that June is my birthday month, so I was so excited and I got a lot of stuff. So prep yourselves for a lot of hauls coming up. But I can't literally fit under my desk anymore. I have like boxes here, under here, just waiting to film all the stuff that I got. But I have been playing with some of it, so I'm excited to share with you guys. But today, why we are here is for my June favorites. Yes, July is already here. I cannot believe it, but I am excited because summer is here fully blown. It sucks though, because today is pouring rain and it's dreary, but we will be getting warm weather within the next two days or so. So I am excited. I don't know. Did I even get a tan? I went out one day. I don't even know if I got a tan, but I tried. So I do have a lot of favorites this month. And I have technically two non-favorites. Um, one is sort of like a beauty product, but not really, I guess. A tool, I would say. A tool. That's what I call it. A tool. But the first thing I want to share with you guys is Snapchat. I actually am obsessed with Snapchat. I have it on my phone here and I have been nonstop Snapchatting. So if you guys have Snapchat, get on it. My name is One Beauty Addict as it is everywhere else. You guys kind of get a glimpse of my personal life. I kind of use Snapchat as my vlog per se since they're short and they only last 24 hours on there. Um, I have my mom on there. I have my sisters on there. You guys get to see me without makeup, my hair up in a turban, a hot mess. But I get more like personal, more fun with you guys. So you guys kind of get to see my everyday kind of routine and life. So if you guys want to follow me, you can follow me on Snapchat. I'm so excited. I didn't think I would like it and because I've known about it for almost a year. Yeah, about a year. But the people that were telling me about it were kind of, they're young kids, so they were talking about sending like naked pictures to each other, and I'm like, that is not what I want that for. So I never downloaded it, but now that I kind of understand what you can do with it, I like it. I really do like it. I'm, I'm addicted. Yeah, I'm addicted. So if you want to follow me, go ahead and follow me. You will probably laugh, but it is what it is. So now on to my beauty tool. I did a review on these and shared this with you guys. This is the Solutions by Artbin. This is supposed to be a magnetic thing for like your needles, your sewing kit, anything that's metal like your um, like thread and things. But this is a dupe for a, um, a Z palette. So as you can see, it's a dupe for a Z palette. And this, I did a full review on these. I will link it down below because I love these. I could travel with these, throw them in my purse, and they don't go anywhere. They're still in there. So this is uh, one of my monthly favorites. I love it. I will put the video down below to explain to you guys how to get it for less than $5. Yeah. So now on to my beauty favorites. I am going to start out with, I have quite a few. I'm going to start out with a powder. So a setting powder that I have been loving this month is the NYX Set It and Don't Fret It. Now they come in two different colors, light medium and medium dark. I have the light medium one. It is a loose mineral powder and it has a little tint of a color to it, but not too much. This stuff really keeps me matte. I just like put it in my t-zone I don't put it all over my face and it truly keeps me matte I love this product I also you'll see in a haul I purchased the Laura Mercier uh, translucent loose powder but I'm like now thinking do I really need it I haven't tried it so I can't compare but this stuff really really works and you you don't I can't see anybody cake this on because it's loose so you can really like just dust it on and it really works I do not have to blot my face repowder look like a hot mess and it doesn't make me look cakey I really enjoy this so I would check this out this is only 10 bucks and it's worth it I love that 
On to blushes. I cannot get enough of these Mabel or Maybelline Milani blushes. These were an accidental find. I didn't even know they were coming out with new colors. I was not it was not in my radar. I was looking for other products when I stumbled upon these three. And I have not worn any other blush but these three all month long. I absolutely love them. Now, I would say that American Beauty, uh, I could probably have skipped on this one. It is beautiful. It's kind of like a pinky with a little bit of peach to it. And it has gold uh, flecks in there, but there it's not obnoxious and it doesn't show in your skin. I have worn it. It is beautiful, but I could have skipped on this one, but limited edition makes me get them all. I'm total hoarder. I have been loving Awakening Rose, which is like your natural everyday color, which is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. Whenever I do something that I don't know what color to use, this just looks beautiful. Again, these blushes swatch horrible, but they apply beautifully on the cheeks. Now, the one I really love is uh, Blossom Time Rose. is really a very beautiful peachy gold color. Now, I, this is definitely my type of color. And why I like this, though, because if you look at it, it looks like it's peach infused with gold. It's not on top. It's like a mixture of both of them put together. I absolutely love this color. I have not been able to put these down all month. They've just been sitting on my vanity, and this is what I've been reaching for the whole entire month. If you can still find them, I would highly recommend these. And I got these on sale for they're $8.50 a piece. I got them for a lot less than that with my CVS bucks and buy one get one half off on top of that. So these are totally worth it. I love these. As far as bronzers, I have two that I've been reaching for this whole entire month. The first one is Physicians Formula Bronze Booster and this one is in medium dark. This is what the packaging looks like. This one I just wore whenever I just wanted some sort of sheen on my cheeks, a bronzer with sheen. I didn't want too much shimmer, I didn't want too much glow, but I didn't want a matte bronzer. This one, you could see gold flecks in there, but it doesn't transfer on your cheeks. It's not completely matte, but it's not too glowy for those that don't like that glowy J-Lo kind of look. This is beautiful. It blends really nice, and it goes so nice with me in the summertime. I actually have the light to medium for the wintertime, but I prefer this one for whatever reason all year round. It's really, really beautiful. I love this bronzer. I would highly recommend these if you can get these on sale. I would because they are expensive full price. The other one that I could not stop reaching for, and I am wearing it today, believe it or not, this is really, really good. This is the Avon Glow Bronzer, and this is number two light bronze. They come in three different colors, which I own all three, and if you can tell, this is a bronzer that has a red undertone to it, and I do have it on. It is completely matte. All three colors that come in this line are completely matte, and it has a really nice imprint. Obviously, mine is going because I use this so much. But it has a really nice sunshine kind of imprint, like the like the actual uh, logo right here. These are so inexpensive, you guys. I just checked online at Avon, and these are $5.99 right now. I think full price, they're no more than $12. So they're even cheaper than what you can get at the drugstore. And the this one blends so nice. Now, the lightest one I wouldn't recommend as a bronzer. It's kind of like a matte version of... Um, the hard candy one in Tiki. You know how like Tiki is supposed to be a bronzer, but it's a highlight and it's because it's too light? That's how the lightest one is of this one. It's more of a matte, kind of like setting powder for under your eyes. It's a yellow-based matte powder. So I wouldn't use that as a bronzer. But the second one, light bronze, it's pretty dark in my opinion, but it's beautiful. I would recommend these. Now, I've told you guys this in the past since the beginning I've started my channel. I am an Avon rep. I will never throw it down your throats. I would never pressure anyone to purchase anything from Avon, but they have come a long way since I remember them as a child. I've been an Avon rep now for five years, and I really, really love their products. I actually am having a haul of Mark, which is their partner uh, makeup line, 
and I just purchased a bunch of things from them that I because I haven't purchased from them in a really long time and I figured I'd put an order in to share with you guys uh, the line because I really do think that they're really good and underrated it's, it, even Avon they, they've really come a long way so if you're looking for a completely matte bronzer and it blends beautifully and it's not expensive check this one out I will link it down below I will put my uh, website down below if you guys want to order through me if you know anybody who sells Avon and you want to order through them you're not offending me by any means I know that you still need to find a rep to place orders so I will link mine down below if you don't know anyone and you just want to place an order you can go ahead and do that I know they have a bunch of sales all the time free shipping buy one get one half off buy one get one free that's how I always purchase my things I don't get anything free from Avon or Mark I purchase everything on my own so this is another one I would definitely recommend now on to highlighters I had to narrow this down because I use so many this month but these two really stood out to me the first one is from JD glow cosmetics I did a whole video on these I will not go into detail because I will sit here forever and this video is already long enough as it is but the one that really stood out to me or the one that has been my favorite because I, I just can't put this one down it's called Marilyn Monroe the number eight this is my typical gold champagne deep goldish color highlight I love this it's seriously a highlight that is going to glow and really stand out on your cheeks look at that oh my gosh I love these you have to be very careful with these they are soft to the touch and they can kind of like bundle up on your um, fingers because they're so pigmented that it kind of bundles up on your skin so like you can't rub in here you have to be very gentle and blend it out not you have to blend this out you do get a little bit of fallout with these I'm not gonna lie you do get fallout but it's not the type that's obnoxious or you can't wipe away so I have worn this constantly be I've worn this one, Saks Fifth Avenue, I love Beyonce, um, and I think those are the three that I use the, the most this month, but this one really is just, if I could pick any one of them, this is the one that I would use because this is like my everyday kind of color, and look at that sheen, it's just gorgeous. They are having a 25% off for 4th of July, so if you are interested, I would recommend getting one now, now that they're 25% off, but this one I love, I know the packaging looks cheap, they have shipping but they are coming along they are new so I love this one I love it another one that I could not put down all month is the Laura Geller gilded honey one this is just beautiful to look at and it is amazing on oh my goodness gracious this is all that I wore basically besides Marilyn Monroe I uh, today I had to force myself to use a different highlighter because I wanted to grab this one I love this I'm so glad I grabbed it one of my subbies I'm sure you're watching Delia you were the one that recommended this to me and then my friend April from Wanna Makeup told me I needed to get it too and then I got it and then it blew up on YouTube I absolutely love this one this is definitely one of my top highlighters at the time I did my top highlighters I didn't I just had purchased it the same day so that's why I didn't include it in there but I can definitely say that this is one that I cannot live without. I love this one. It's definitely one of my favorites. Now on to lip products. I tried a lot of lip products. Uh, I tried, uh, I love the Maybelline Blur, Color Blur ones. I just love the line in general. There's not one particular color that I could say besides, maybe Fast and Furious. I don't have it with me. It's in my purse. But that's one that I really have loved. But when I would wear this the month of June, I constantly got stopped and asked, what is on my lips? How is it staying on your lips? Because you have a three month old and it's not all over him. And he's all over your face and it's on, and literally not in his hand. When I wore this one, everyone stopped and stared and asked, like literally followed me around to ask me what was on my lips. This is the Remel Show Off Lip Velvet these are the matte ones this one's in burning lava now when I reviewed these back in the winter time I had mentioned to you guys that these were a little bit drying 
more drying than the other ones that I have purchased. So when I would wear this, look how beautiful that is. When I would wear it, I would wear my very moisturizing Perlice uh, Daily Lip Nourisher. This is very moisturizing. So I placed this on my lips before I started doing my makeup. And then by the time I was ready for my lips, it already had sunken into my lips. I did not wipe it off. I lined my lips, then placed this on top. As you can see, it does have some a sheen to it before it fully dries. So my lips look like they were glossy for at least 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes, it set and it was dry. I wore this all day. I ate with it. I got a little bit of fading right in the center of my lips but that's because of eating, so that makes sense. But other than that, it lasted all day, and because I had a like a, a nourisher under this product, it was bearable all day. It was actually very nice and comfortable, and I'm telling you, everyone stared, everyone wanted to know, and look how beautiful that color is. I love this. If you are wanting that red lip, simple eyes and red lip, you're gonna love this. I did an Instagram post of when I wore this and I'm telling you guys, every time I wanted a bold lip, this is what I pulled out. It sat on my vanity and I would just wear this. I wore this numerous times. It's even fading, like the, the letters are fading on here because I just carried it around. I just love this and it's so easy to apply because the applicator is kind of like different. Can you see that? It has the product on it and it's on an angle, but it has a hole in it, if it makes any sense. If you own any of these, you know what I'm talking about. So I made it really easy to apply, and it, it's full impact, seriously full impact. So I love these. Check these out, oh, especially this color. I love this one. It's definitely a year-round color. Red is not just for the holidays. It is all year round in my book. So those are my favorites for the month, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it was a very long video, but I did have a lot of favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you did like it. If you are new to my channel, welcome to the family. I will link all the products down in the description box where you can purchase them. Any videos that I mentioned that I will put down in the description box, I will as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear.